In this video, I want to show you two exercises uh, which come from the trauma healing, which help you and your nervous system to come in a relaxed state, in a centered state, where you can uh, lean back, being at ease and connected with yourself and also with your environment. And these exercises are really very simple and last only a few minutes. The first exercise is that you strangle your hands like this and you put them behind your skull like this, behind the rounding of your skull. And the easiest way to do it is to lay down. So I also will lay down now. And your head is facing upwards. And you feel how your head is resting in the palms of your hands. How that feels for the body. And then you don't move your head, your head stays in this position. But with your eyes, you look to the right side as much as possible without forcing it. And you keep your eyes there until spontaneously there comes a deep sigh like, like this or a swallowing or a yawning, like, oh. For me, there comes a deep sigh now, so I move back my eyes to the middle. And then I move my eyes as much as possible without forcing to the left side. And I keep them there until there comes a spontaneous sigh, like, like this, or a yawning, or a swallowing. Sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes shorter. And when that happens, you come back with the eyes to the middle. And you take your time with your eyes open or closed to feel your whole body and your state of being. So this exercise is very helpful to do it daily. I say it from my own experience or to do it when you feel shaky or too much aroused or too much uh, dull and stuck, then this exercise can help also a lot. The other exercise is one which you can do with yourself or also with another person who is sitting on a chair and you are standing behind that person. And I do it now, I show it, uh, doing it with myself, and uh, I show it to you in a sitting position. But my recommendation is to do it in a lying down position, because sitting, the muscles of the neck are already tensed up. So now I turn around to show it to you. So we start with, I start with this side, for me, the right side of my uh, neck and skull. And I take, uh, you can choose any finger, but I take my middle finger and put it on the uh, down side of the skull, like just above the neck. And I press a little bit and I move my finger to the right side and to the left side. And I feel where it is more easy to shift the 
skin. So for me, I feel now it's more easy to shift it to the right, to this side. And what I do, I shift the finger to the other side, to the side which is more difficult to shift. For me, that is this side. So I pull the skin there and keep it there. And then with my other hand, I do it now with my middle finger. I put my middle finger under this upper finger and I, and this is under the skull. So on the muscles of the neck, the soft muscles. And then this finger I put in the opposite direction. So the upper finger, I was pulling the skin to that direction with the the lower finger, I little bit press inside the muscles and put the finger, shift it to the other side. And I keep it there. The upper finger pulling in one side and the lower finger pulling in an other side. In the other side. And you can do it as long as feels comfortable for you. You, you can feel it by doing it, especially when you are laying down. Can be one minute or two minutes or even longer. And then you do it on the other side. So with the first finger, you you put on the skull and you a little bit press in the skin and you move it to the left and the right. And then you feel which side is more easy. For me, to the this side is more easy. So I pull the finger to the other side, to the side where it's more difficult to shift the skin. And the other finger I put under the upper finger and under the skull, so on the muscles. It will be pressed and there I pull my finger to the opposite side and keep it for some time there. So this exercise, if you do it with yourself, I recommend to do it laying down. And then after it, you again feel inside the body what's happening there. So I wish you all the best with those exercise, with these exercises. And if you want to share something about it with me, you can do that, but this by email. And my email address is a little bit difficult to pronounce in English, so I will write it down in the description below this movie. And um, yeah, I hope it will benefit you.